Hey, so let's talk about that time I got to go to Pixar because that was a really fun time and I really, really want to talk about it. So towards the end of November, Disney UK very, very kindly sent me, Jamie, Connie and Becky out to Pixar to celebrate the home movie release of Finding Dory on DVD and Blu-ray and it was just so, so much fun. The trip started off of us leaving from London on a Virgin Atlantic flight over to San Francisco to this amazing hotel called the Argonaut, which was just this sort of like nautical themed hotel and it had the coolest mirror. It reminded me almost of the window from Doctor Strange, except it was a mirror. Fast forward the next day, we got to go to Pixar, and this is literally, if you've been following me, you're going to know this is literally a dream come true for me. Like, I am the biggest nerd when it comes to Pixar. I, I like, Toy Story is everything to me, so just to go to Pixar was just like, oh, so, 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 honestly, words can't even describe how inspired I was to be somewhere like Pixar. This amazing workplace that is the home of so many magical worlds and gives birth to so many amazing ideas and just to be able to be there yourself in person it's just it's great. So the first thing you see when you walk in towards Pixar is the giant Luxo ball and Luxo land. This is probably the most excited I've been in a while. We're at Pixar and yeah. just immediately we're going into Steve Jobs building and there is the Luxo ball and lamp statue. That I've seen in like every image of Pixar. I took several pictures with that ball and lamp over the course of our time there, not even kidding. But of course, this video is not just about pictures with a Luxo lamp and Luxo ball because we were there to celebrate the home release of Finding Dory on DVD and Blu-ray and it was just such a treat of a day. The day started with us having breakfast in Pixar's Steve Jobs building. We then whisked off to the Steve Jobs Theatre. We're in the Steve Jobs Theatre. Yeah. Where we got to watch the bonus features of the Finding Dory Blu-ray that is obviously out now and these features are amazing. The features we watched included the making of Hank, the complexities of Hank, the research that went into behind the scenes, and really adorably, some clips from Piper, the Pixar short the show before Finding Dory in cinemas, that also happens to be Jamie Joe's favourite Pixar short, and it's just such an adorable little short that just makes you smile every time you see it, and just part of our day also involved Piper as much as it involved Finding Dory. These are the two guys that work to create Piper, the director and the producer, oh, cool. Alan Barlaro and Mark Sopak. Following on from our short screening, we were treated to a tour of Pixar, which is just, it, it was just a nerd's dream come true. It was just so much fun to finally be able to look around and see Pixar. Here are the Oscars. Crazy. Dear John Lester, on June 2010, we had a young child about six year old named Caleb come into the City Hall at Magic Kingdom Park. He brought his well played with Woody doll. His parents bought him a new one. He wanted his first one to have a new home, so left it with you to spend the rest of it in to spend infinity and beyond with Buzz Lightyear. This is adorable. I've seen these Lego statues so many places now, but I never get bored of them. So we started off where we were, in the Steve Jobs building, and got to look at various art pieces they had hung up on display for like art galleries. On one side of the building, they had a whole Finding Dory set up with like all this artwork from Finding Dory that you just go around and look at, including some of the clay models from the film that just look really cool. We then whisked across a bridge where they had some other artwork over the other side that had been submitted by Pixar employees for various like in-house events, various themed artwork that it submitted just around sort of I guess Pixar challenges for artists to sort of just submit artwork and it just all looked cool it was just really cool seeing like all these little fun jokey art pieces that have all of the Pixar characters I've grown to love inside of them we then left the Steve Jobs building past the Luxo Ball and Luxo Lab into the Brooklyn building and the Brooklyn building of Pixar was just oh it was Toy Story heaven that's why I'm just going nuts one of the first things I see when I walk in there is this massive poster for Toy Story 20 and it just immediately went and got a picture by it we then we around the corner into this little cafe they have where we were showing how they make these Pixar lattes and they use sort of Pixar latte art to make Finding Dory characters so we all got to have a go at making our own little Pixar lattes doing little characters on top of the latte and the cool thing about Pixar is all these little cafes they have are just stocked full of cereal. We also had the chance to do a blindfolded cereal test and Jamie gave me Fruit Loops which I really don't like. <laughs> Just outside of that cafe, they also had this whole sort of like alcove that was dedicated to Toy Story. It was just like themed up with Toy Story clouds on one wall, and then you had display case after display case of memorabilia, such as like original buzzes, original Woody, some of the original clay pieces, some photographs of the original cast all together. And for me, it was just, oh, just such a treat to be able to see that. Like, honestly, it was it was just so, so much fun. And then after our tour, in true tour fashion, we got to end at the gift shop, where we ended up buying probably more than we should have, but we do not regret it. If you have not seen my video yet, the Pixar haul, be sure to check it out after this video. I'll put a link down below, but I basically showed you guys everything I got in the gift shop, including this t-shirt, which Jamie kindly bought for me, and this track jacket that says Pixar, and is just so 
cool. I love this so much. It's such a fun jacket. And then I got the Luxor Ball and some other things. Check out the video and also check out Jamie's. I'll put a link down below. On with the tour! After spending more than we probably should have in the gift shop, we were treated to two amazing sessions. The first of which was called All Things Hank. And this took place with Finding Dory supervising tech director, character art director, and supervising animators, which gave her a lot of insight around Hank as a character and just how complex he is. We basically spent this session talking about Hank and everything that went into them. How he pretty much almost broke Pixar as we saw on the Blu-ray shorts. There's actually like a clip on the Blu-ray about how Hank literally is the octopus that almost broke Pixar. How they drew Hank, how they designed Hank and then to top it all off we got to sit there with the character art director and find out how to draw Hank. He went up on a whiteboard and taught us how to draw Hank piece by piece and how like he reflects various parts of Hank. For example Hank's initial shape is a traffic cone and then add two balls and you add it all together and by the end of it you're looking down this drawing you've done and you've actually not necessarily perfectly but you've drawn Hank pretty well so I was really proud of myself having done that on the back of like the direction from the art director and it was just it was a really fun session to do and after that we were given a really big treat as we got to go and voice some Pixar characters we got to go and voice the scene in Finding Dory where Destiny and Dory talking together and me and Jamie voiced the characters I voiced Destiny Jamie voiced Dory, I voiced Destiny in a monotone normal male voice because I just I just kept laughing. I was just I was just not the best thing there, but we were sent the clips and I'll have to show you guys the clip now if you can judge away. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait, say that again? Um you're welcome. Dory? Yes. Dory? Yes. Dory? Yes. Dory? Yes. You and I were friends. I mean, Jamie did a really good Dory, I'm going to say that. J Jamie's Dory was really good. My Destiny was not, no, no, not as good, but it was such a fun experience to do. I was so grateful, and that video clip is a clip that I'm going to cherish because it just, I got to go and Pixar and they voiced, uh, put our voice onto a character. And then after that session, Jamie got to go off and interview the film's co-director, Angus McLean, and producer, Lindsay Collins, where she chatted quite a bit about, like, school, how to go Pixar, and also the film itself. It was really fun. There are some clips on Jamie's channel of her Pixar vlog, which I highly recommend you check out after this. So I'll link down below and then our day at Pixar came to an end which was just it was it was magical it was it was perfect and on our way out they very kindly gifted us like this little dory goodie bag with a plush dory and a cool bag and a lunch box and we were off on our way driving back having just had such an amazing time at Pixar just like it was like it sounds like dramatic to say like life changing but like it was one of those sort of life changing things where you go in there and you're like this is I, I've always wanted to do this and now I'm here now and like wow this is this is a, more than what I expect this is amazing this is just such an amazing thing and like it was so cool seeing everything that went into Finding Dory and like getting more of an understanding from a film film's perspective like things like the character of Hank and how complex Hank is and just everything that went into Hank how he almost broke, pe broke Pixar Piper, everything that went into Piper. It was such a good day and it was honestly just so, so good. And it sounds generic to say, but it really did make me want to just go and watch Finding Dory. And I did that as soon as I got back to the UK. I just sat down and watched Finding Dory again. And it was good. It was, it just like, I mean, I love Pixar films, but it's something about like you go there and you see a film, you talk for it even more and you just sort of like find something like, oh wow, yeah. I normally watch a lot of special features and stuff on DVDs and Blu-rays anyway, but it's one of those things that made me want to just sit down and watch more special features because there's just hidden gems and just sort of interviews in there that you sort of watch and you're like, okay, maybe I should watch the film back now. And yes, you, you want to watch the film back. Of course, thank you to the Aquarium of the Bay in San Francisco, Pixar and all the Pixar stuff that showed us around and just made my year, like made multiple years for me for having done on that and all the amazing restaurants that put up with us and put us into the restaurants and like gave us food that was amazing and just everything about this trip just thank you so much and of course thank you to Michelle from Disney who took us around and walked us around looked after us the whole time made sure everyone was like well cared for and everyone else who was on and, the and trip. I guess that's it the long-winded video about our Pixar trip to San Francisco that was just so so amazing it was just so much fun so if you made it this far please do throw a like down below let me know what your favorite pixar movie is let's go with that in the comments today and i'll see you guys very soon bye oh hey you're still here that's pretty good so over there you're going to be able to see one side or the other my pixar haul and below it you're also going to be able to see jamie joe's pixar video i highly recommend you check out one of the two and i'll see you guys very soon bye